Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third-ish party knockoff review. Uh, thanks to the guys over at TF Direct. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a quick look at uh, the Jinbao Into the Sky Nero Rex. Now I did do a full review on their original Predator King or Feral Rex. Uh, this version is in the Nero colours and it looks gorgeous. Uh, it's not without its faults. It's still somewhat ballooned in like the head areas and it is a little bit simplified uh, but in essence it's, it is exactly the same as their previous version only done up in these funky monkey colours. But there is a but. I believe they issued a, a version 2 of their Feral Rex, and this is actually based on the version 2, so the joints are a lot tighter. I had trouble with my waist sections on uh, basically my Tiger moulds on the Tigris and Carnivax. I had trouble with their waists, uh, they were screwed in, they basically sheared straight off. I've not had any issues with this guy at all. He still really struggles to hold a pose just because of how bulky he is and there aren't ratchets in these feet they need to be tight ratchets and there's, there's just nothing there to hold those feet in a really good stance he struggles to hold his sword his sword is just way 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 too big it's like a huge meat cleaver and as you can see i do have all six of the feral cons on him at the moment we've got dive bomb on the back there as an entire bot and we have both the shoulder section. Now, I don't generally have him displayed like this, but somebody said to me on my last video, why did you not show him with all six limbs? So, here we go, we have all six limbs. Now, people actually complained about the head and the lion's mane there, and they're actually releasing an upgrade kit for this and the original version. I believe it's the end of this month, maybe beginning of next, uh, which should tie in nicely, just put all that on, and that should look pretty good. I believe it's new hands as well, and I think there's new hands for the individual bots as well. Uh, this is a little bit simplified. It, it's not spot on, and it's definitely not Mastermind Creations quality, but by no means is it bad. It's just your standard Chinese factory plastic. It's pretty good. These are sold in retail stores to kids, and they're not designed to break on the kids. People are spending hard-earned money on these toys, so they're designed to last. Uh, if you look down here, I do have a slight issue with my... Uh, I've just got a chest section just missing on here. Uh, it's probably just got knocked off, uh, or may have been knocked out of the packaging. I do like how this looks. I think I actually prefer the black, greys and purples than I do the uh, official colours. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the shattered glass lover in me. Uh, it's... I know this isn't Shattered Glass, I know it's kind of a Nemesis-ish -ish version, uh, although I would love to see a Shattered Glass. Isn't that done with, like, turquoise or something, isn't it? It's, it's really, really quite nice. It's a big toy. And here he is alongside Masterpiece Grimlock. Now, whereas Feral Rex was definitely designed for adult collectors, this is definitely more of a chunky monkey version of the toy. Definitely designed for kids. I think the trouble is they've probably used the same sort of plastic consistencies as what Mastermind Creations did, but they've enlarged this so much. I think it's one and a half times bigger, I think. And the joints just don't hold up. They need ratchets in there. They needed some die-cast joints, possibly, just to hold the sheer mass of the figure. And unfortunately, they haven't really delivered. Again, though, I must emphasise this in China is aimed at children. Taking a look at their animal beast modes, they're fairly substantial in size. Now, before you critique me and say, but Ben, they are not all transformed in their correct transformations. I, I know, I know, I'm just flicking them through to give you guys a general idea. If you want to see them in their fully transformed modes and the transformation sequence, then please click the link up here somewhere. The information button takes you through to the original Jimbao. Predicting review. Um, but for now, though, you get the idea of what these guys look like in their beastie modes. And again, they're a pretty darn good size. To look at on screen, they don't look that big until you bring in somebody like a Voyager Optimus Prime. The classic KO Henke Prime is a fairly standard size. And these guys tower over him. And for a vehicle comparison, here he is with Masterpiece Smokescreen. 
See what I mean? These are big beasties. Now, here they all are in robot mode, and this is where we find all of those faults. Ah! <sighs> I literally sent a list of these bits off to TF Direct, and they are a great company, they are sorting it for me. But, Jimba, oh, shame, shame on you. <sighs> Look at that arm. Look at that arm. I was given two of his right arms, so he can't have a full arm. He hasn't got any feet. He arrived with no feet attached to the back of his legs, so he is poised in a very curious position. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's, um, these things happen, especially when they are knockoff companies and uh, mass produced. I know you get things like this happen with Hasbro figures as well. It's just obviously more of a pain when you get a figure like this, which is actually limited to, I believe it's 2,000. A uh, bit of a pain in the backside, really. And do you see what I mean about the oversized heads? They are like ballooned. That just looks ridiculously big, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I would have liked um, alternative heads, really. I know they're making upgrades for the hands, etc. Maybe they should have done them for the heads as well. Apparently, uh, tigers and saber-toothed tigers are safe from this enlarged head syndrome. That being said, the set itself is actually pretty nice. It's made fairly well. It's not without its faults. Uh, the QC is a bit... <laughs> Um, you do need a screwdriver occasionally to tighten up some of the joints and make sure everything's square. Sometimes things are just put together and they're not quite right. But all in all, it is a very good looking set. And when he's combined, he does look gorgeous, doesn't he? I think it's definitely worth the money. But when you receive yours, make sure you give it a complete overhaul and have a check that everything is there. Obviously, if there are bits missing, then give TF Direct a call and they can go straight back to Jim Bao. Because obviously, it's being sold to adult collectors. We want a complete set. We don't want one with flaws. I'll leave you with a quick size comparison. Size-wise, these fit into the Masterpiece collection. But aesthetics, because of the enlarged, engorged head syndromes they suffer from, I really don't think they work. I have my Jimbao Predaking King combined up and in my Decepticon army. Now, he does look good, and so will this guy. But as individual bots, I don't think it works. Sorry, Jimbao, it's a good toy, but not really masterpiece in my mind. Thank you very much to the guys over at TF Direct. Until next time, from myself and the Jimbao Nero Rex team, goodbye.